Okay, so the first thing that you notice when you get to Monterey, right in the airport, is that it is a big city. In fact, at 4.6 million people, Monterey is the fourth largest city in the country of Mexico. We are now at the Grutas of Garcia, and we're looking for a place to buy our tickets. So our first stop was to the Grutas de Garcia. The Grutas of Garcia are a geological cave formation that's about a thousand feet up into the mountains that were discovered in the 1800s by this Jesuit missionary. How these Jesuit missionaries got up there, I have no idea, but there are two routes presently you can take. You can either go by this red tram that will cost you about $4, or for $3 you can hike your way up there. We decided that we were not going to hike up there and we took the tram up. The tram up is a nice slow tram, takes about 10 minutes to get up there and gives you a really nice view of all the mountains in Monterey. Whether by walking or by going up the tram, when you get to the top, you really want to stop for just a second and look out onto the Monterey Valley, and you will see some of the most spectacular mountains that you've ever seen. Now remember, just take a minute to, to look at these, but not too long because you're there for the caves, not the vista. In addition to the vista, at the top platform, you will also find your guide who will guide you into the cave of Garcia, also known in Spanish as Las Grutas de Garcia. Grutas is cave. Um, the trip is about a mile and a half long, and it is a little bit strenuous. You go through 750 steps, but I noticed with us that there was old people and young people, so the trail is pretty much well-defined, and most people can walk it as long as you're just watching. The views inside are truly spectacular. It's amazing what just one little drop of water over hundreds of thousands of millions probably years will do. Like I said, the tour is about a mile and a half and it takes about 750 steps and is about an hour to an hour and a half long. After the tour is over, you can take the tram back down like we did, or you can hike back down. Again, we opted for the tram because that's the fastest route. And we were on our way back to the city center so that we could go to the Palacio del Gobierno, otherwise known in English as the Governor's Palace, which is the head of government for this state of Monterey. In addition to being the capital of the state of Monterey, Palacio del Gobierno in Monterrey is also a museum. What you see today was started in 1895 and they finished the building in 1908. Um, like most government palaces it's in Mexico, it has a very Spanish architecture, lots of rich woods, very fancy. You can definitely see that Monterrey has some money and they've invested it into their state capital. Outside, you can see an old postal office made from the 1930s, very Art Deco style. And again, inside, you can see rich wood, which is a theme that you see a lot in Monterrey, which I thought was interesting and kind of brought it back to its mountain style with the forest. Now, our time in Monterrey was very short, very short. But we couldn't leave without making one last stop to the famous restaurant, El Rey del Cabrito. Now, when you get to this restaurant, you're going to see that it's very flashy. You're going to see the doors. You're going to see, like, these, this weird logo. You're going to go inside, and you're going to see this neon with Spanish tile and stuffed animals. And you're going to think, oh, my goodness, this is such a tourist trap. And then you're going to look towards the counter and you're going to see these whole goats and they are being 
roasted over open coals just slowly. A very simple technique. But what happens is you get the food. And this food, the goat that you order, will be the best goat that you've ever had. The skin is crunchy. The inside is moist. The people are friendly. There's music. This is Mexico. Again, our time in Monterey was short, but as we left, our bellies were full, and we had plenty of memories that will last us a lifetime. We really enjoyed our time in Monterey, and one day I hope to go back and see more of this beautiful mountain country. Mm -hmm.